Good morning, Trumptopia. This is the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo. The almost daily Zencast presents today's Nugget of Zen. Hello and namaste, dear friends and listeners. Thank you for tuning in. Today's segment is called Your Nugget of Zen. And here it is, folks. Our entire lives, we have perpetually, daily, moment to moment, sat at a crossroads. We have, at every step along our journey that we call life, had a choice to make. We, as individuals and as collectives, have a choice to make right now. We can either keep busy arguing over which theory about what is going on is most righteous and most correct, and most worth dying for. And I mean that beyond the scope of this current pandemic and global shutdown. I mean that we can keep busy fighting over politics, religion, identity, borders, economy. We can keep fighting over ideological models of how life should be operated We can keep fighting over which economic system is most efficient at destroying and commodifying the womb that gives birth to us. Or we can heal. We can keep fighting or we can answer the call that nature herself is trumpeting. We can keep fighting or we can transform through healing and resolve every problem that we have been fighting about. But, dear friends, tragically, we cannot do both. Set aside your belief systems. Set aside All the conditioning that has been jammed down your throat, whether it came from your parents, your religion, your institutional societal organizations, your favorite conspiracy theory at all, set them aside and contemplate your option of healing. Do you want to solve the world or do you want to prove yourself to be most righteous? Do you want to help your neighbor, or do you want to prove that you know more than what your neighbor knows? Do you want to fix the problems that we face? Or do you want to keep jogging on the treadmill of the problems we create for ourselves? I humbly vote for healing. And I humbly invite you to join me and everyone else throughout time who has ever realized this option we have and voted for healing. Because our votes count and they accumulate. The more you realize you have a choice, the stronger you can exercise that choice. The more you realize that your constructs, your identities... Your ideologies, your cosmologies, no matter how close to accurate they may or may not seem to you, they are second-hand tools. The easier it is to become, uh, the easier it becomes to abdicate them. We have an opportunity, each and every moment, to stop fighting. We have an opportunity and a calling. Every breath of 
every single day to unite in healing. And the moment that we heal ourselves, we can then heal each other. And by healing each other, we can heal the human species. And yes, dear friends, if we heal the human species, we will heal whoever it is behind all the evil, nefarious conspiracy theories out there that y'all busy fighting about. So I say, dear friends, with humility and with love and with kindness and compassion. Stop fighting. Stop arguing. Stop trying to prove that this or that is the absolute truth. And start healing yourself. Start healing yourself through forgiveness, through self-compassion, through self-care, through self-love. These things are harder to do than you might realize at first. Why else do you think we shirk and shrug and neglect them so much? But they are well within your grasp. They are your natural, innate talents. Healing, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, love. You were born with a mastery of these tools. It is only time, distraction, and illusion that has caused you to forget that you already have mastered these tools. Return to that original knowing, friends. It takes making the choice and I humbly encourage you to make that choice now. And to realize that for this to work, you must make that choice now, and then tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. You must make that choice with every breath you take, and that we will fail. We will stumble. We will forget that we have a choice. We will fall back into the bad habits of fighting each other over which idea about how to heal is the most righteous idea about how to heal. But we need not have that fight. We need only to engage in the divine, wordless, instructionless, intuitive act of healing. And that magic resides within you, always has and always will. The only reason you might feel distant, separate, lost from it is because of the conditioning that we have forced upon ourselves. And for that, we must forgive ourselves and each other. We must forgive the bad guys. If we aim to heal them, we must forgive them for their wrongdoing. And we must beg all those who we have done wrong to for forgiveness. But therein lies the key that will unlock the transformative change we all so desperately long, but fear is not possible. I am here to say it is. As crazy, as irrational, as hippie new age woo woo nut job sounding as it may be, healing is your birthright. Do not throw it away for the sake of convenience, for the sake of being righteous, for the sake of belonging to the group with the best theory or the most popular ideological construct or the most followed political propaganda. Dig deep, friends. 
set aside all those distractions and discover deep within yourself in that silent space behind your history, before your name, behind and before and underneath your very identity, there is that stillness at the center of the phenomena you call me, myself, and I. And in that stillness, there is abundant love and healing. For it comes directly through you to be shared into the world from source itself. And once you recognize that you are a conduit for that spiritual source to provide healing for yourself and for others, then you can live in alignment and act in alignment and speak in alignment with that source, no longer needing to be right, no longer needing to be superior, no longer wanting to fight anyone about anything. Not because I told you so, not because they told you so, not because some authority said you must, but because deep within you are no longer traumatized, because deep within you no longer fear the false idea of being wrong. That, my friends, is today's nugget of Zen. As always, thank you for tuning in.